Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here, and I is going to do some playing of Penumbra Overture, that's literally it. Let's go. My story began in February, year 2000. I don't know if I'm going to get like voiceovers in this, or I might just do it myself. For my part in this episode, oh, I am. Okay. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations. This voice acting to is terrible. To a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been well, legally declared dead almost this. 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Okay, the writing of that was absolutely fine, but the voice acting was god-awful. Wow. I refuse to believe, even if you're like an indie development studio, that you can't find somebody who can do like a better job than that guy did. That was terrible. Oh, here we go. Finally, we're almost stocked. I'd better stir my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using... Wow, really? That's how they're gonna like... <laughs> they're trying to like hide the instructions, like... We're not giving you instructions, this is real life, be immersed. Immersion. I'm getting some screen tear, which is a little bit irritating. Uh, quick options. Noise filter, grain and realism. Bloom, gamma, shade of quality, advanced. Turn VSync on. I need VSync on so I don't get screen tear. The reason I have this is because I have an older... Okay, that's better. No screen tear. Uh, I have an older shit monitor. I also need to turn the um, sensitivity up. Okay, that's way better. Uh, even that's not that high. I'm going to get a little bit higher. Soz. Soz. If I was, like, super professional, I'd probably edit this all out. But I'm not, so... Right, let's open crap. Oh, look, it's a note. Dearest Eric... Just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. Oh. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might knack sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Hendricksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in the ice and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. Right. Uh, just so you know, I will be reading all the notes in that chest in the foot of your bed. But this is the chest. Oh, it's the whiskey. Oh, wait. Apparently, right. Fuck. 
Okay, it said left mouse and then right mouse to have a closer look. I think it means to like, I have to zoom in. Jake Annuals. They can't, <laughs> that's, that's great. They can't like use the, um, <laughs> the like uh, actual names. Obviously that's a trademark and whatever. So they have to be like, and Jake Annuals. Woo, yeah, whiskey. Smash it. I don't care. What's this? Is this like some some Hanes beans instead of Heinz? Nope, it's just random soup. Pew, bitches. Uh, 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 right, I've tried to always travel with a padlock and a key, preferably. Mine's in the inventory tab. And then... Boop! Oh! Some batteries. And... Whoa, where's my hand? Where's my hand gone? Glow sticks. Shortcut G, sweet. Oh! Oh, so bright! I love the way it wiggles, like, mm -ts, mm -ts. yeah, get a potty going. Uh, that's a map. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much ingredients, so I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. What's this? A notebook. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to my bed. Voila! Gizme. Shortcut F key. Mm, mm, mm. That should be everything I need. But what about my jacket and my duffel bag? I need my duffel for duffeling. Oh, I couldn't throw that. It's too heavy for me. Uh, uh. Um, what's this? Pretty odorous. Glad I'm getting out of it soon. They must eat and sleep and, well, do everything else in this one room for weeks at a time. Ew. Ew. There's two beds, though. She said one bed. There's defo, too. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realised how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after and knew that hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. So I've got cold feet seas and toes and stuff. So cold. I've jotted down a note. What was notes? P? Lost in a blizzard. Maybe my last entry. Oh, I think I'm getting hurt. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Or is it some kind of animal in the distance? It's probably the wind. Probably, uh, probably the wind. What's this? Oh! Air near. Air near. I'm going to die. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I can sprint. Speed! It's really loud. This is the loudest one ever. What the hell is that? It looks frozen shut. I need something to break it. And I feel like, possibly, uh, uh, these rocks are what I'm after. Let me launch that. <laughs> right, I'm use this to crack open that bad boy. If I use interactive mode, I can swing the stone more accurately. Oh, that's badass. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, 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 damn it. Open. Ah, uh, I did it. Oh, ah, it's like toggle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, have I done it? Is it meant to, like, swing more? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. God, that interact mode thing's actually, like, pain to use, because it's not... I thought it was, like, press and hold. I didn't realise it was toggle. I'd rather it was press and hold. I'm climbing down iron ladder. The ladder just broke, and I just hit my butt on Le Fleur. <laughs> I love that. <sighs> oh, that's a bit creepy. Luckily, there was a grating there, otherwise I would have just fallen to the hole in my head. I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? I should have known that rusty old ladder wouldn't hold my way, but I didn't have a choice. I'd rather die down here than suffer that cold than he- Oh, well, he's a- he's a positive thinker, is the guy we've got here. He's like, I'd rather die down here. It's like, how, how, why, why would you just die down here for no reason? Empty boxes and ammunition. What is this place? I don't know. That's a good question. A wooden door. I hope it's open. Wow, this guy, like, does the let's playing for me. Oh, what's this? It's a flare. How lovely. What about in here? Ah, more flowers is great. Great success. 
The door is stuck. There must be something in the way. A basic wooden door. Lovely. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, I just picked up a pipe. Am I going to, like, bash people around the head with it? How do I know how much battery I've got? There's how I know how much battery I've got. Okay, I might use the glow stick. Just because why not? Like... It's not that scary now, and I don't need to precisely see much, so let's shut this door. I might as well use the glow stick. What's this? Let's have a look. This is some potatoes? Beer and potato. Wait, what? I have no idea. It's beef... B beer... B something? Beef with beer and potatoes? What? In a can? Delicious. What's this? Like tuna or something? Or like... Spam. Oh, a hammer. Swim the hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a back swing by putting the mouse right. Left. Opposite works too. Stabbing motion. I can have a hold down the mouse. I should still be able to look around. Oh, I have no idea what the hell he just said. Do I need to, like, equip it? Oh. Oh, that's amazing. So I can, like, pull back ready and then, like, run around without mice. And then, like, Hah! if anyone comes near. That's sweet. A metal shelf. Oh! What's this? The wood looks pretty soft now. Uh, how do I move this? How am I meant to move the shelf? Do I have to put the hammer away? Oh, ow, ow, my head. I just got donked by the metal shelf. That's disgusting. Don't read into that. I'm not donked in that way. Sorry, I'm just going to move these barrels around and see if I can find any flares. Nope. Uh, how do I crouch? Control. Uh, is there a quick, like, way of getting the hammer out. Ugh. Smash is smash. I'm gonna put the hammer away again. Oh. Oh. Steel rod I can, like, put in. What's up here? Uh, it won't let me go. It won't let me go up. Okay, it let me go up eventually. That's obviously a way to get down there. This... Bloody hell, this is actually really scary in like a uh, um, uh, really claustrophobic, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, so they all lead to here anyway. And I'm just going to end up going around in circles if I keep doing this. Okay, here's where we're meant to be. Oh, just fucking blind! I think people wanted to keep people in. Judging by the smashy smashy that just occurred. I don't... Okay, so I'm back here. That's great. Um, I don't understand. Why has this guy just come here? And it seems like he had no plan for like what to do once he eventually arrived here. He was just like, I'm just going to rock up. Like, what did he expect? His father was like, sorry, I'm taking a drink of water. His father was like... I'll burn all the documents and crap. So there's obviously something secret happening here. Like, did he think there'd just be like a hotel he could check into? Um, I need to put the pipe in here. Obviously. Pop. Open that shit. Open it all the way. And let's go. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets. Emergency services at the end of the phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers. Bow, 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 chicka, bicka, bow. All there if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing that... Wait, knowing anyone that might help me. Oh, we're too scared or too far away. He got bullied as a little kiddlywink. What a poor bastard. Try to note down, just in case. Entrance to the cave is caved in. There must be a way out. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. I need to get out. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm crouching around, uh, out of sight, crouching my left control. I know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Should be quiet enough, something's right on top of me. 
best chef any light sources to say. Okay, but I don't think there's anything here yet. A wooden box. Is this what it means to be hidden? Oh, is this how I can like see in the dark? So I get like a little bit of a blue tint and I can kind of see in the dark. Okay, I don't think I heard anything. What's that? Paraffin lamps. Oh, what? Can I get it back? Wait, how do I turn it on then? Looks like there's still some juice left. Yes, yeah, so I want to turn it on. God damn it. Let's use this. Okay. I'm here. Storage, office, explosives, northern area, workshop. I'm going to go for the office, which is left. Follow this and then turn left. I'm just going to use my flashlight for a slightly further look down the hall. And then turn left. And then, like, down here should be the office. Heavy, but I could lift it. Could do a lot of damage to anything underneath it. Okay, that was just, uh, <laughs> that's dumb. Office. I'm in the office. Sweet. Sweet. Sounds pretty good, being in the... Oh! There's a bit of light in here. I like it. Light, I miss being outside already. But even though I could reach that, great. Looks built into the rock itself. No, it's coming loose. Could you not, like, work through it, though? Do you know what I mean? Oh, there's, like, some drawers and stuff here. Like, surely you could get up to that grate and, like... I would probably be, like, I'm going to keep an... Oh, what's this? Beef jerky. Hmm, tasty. If I get hungry... I need to say thirsty. If I get hungry down here, I can eat. Um, yeah, I think I forgot to say earlier, but I'm going to read all the notes. I'm going to be a law nerd on this one, so painkillers. Okay, that means I can get injured. Delightful. It's locked. I need a key. Flare. How do I get my flares out? And do I drop them? Like, what do I do with them? Fuck you, chair. What's this? Typewriter. Oh, it made a bit of a donk there. Hang on. Isn't that, like, all that paper, like, written on? Yeah, so why don't I get it up and, like, read it? Good damn some more beef jerky burlicks things. Delicious. I think, and I don't know, but I think you use beef jerky to, like, distract enemies while you peg it. Must be the added moisture from that grape. This whole room is putrefying. Yes. 